Hi, I'm Aubrey Shepard on May the 1st, 2014. We got some pictures from John Rule's Road to Frog Bayou. That is Lanacera flava. It's a yellow native wild growing honeysuckle vine. See the, uh, those mostly aren't open, not quite open yet, but the ends of those will be little trumpet shapes just like the the red ones that I show so often. And there I've got a swallowtail butterfly actually nectaring on that uh, Lanacera blava, the yellow honeysuckle. And that's a trout lily. You don't see me with those very often. These are from out uh, along the road at John Rule's property. And John was busy and didn't get here this morning to be with us, so uh, I'll have to talk about them. This is a milkweed, and I showed one of these. Uh, it's a four quadrifolia, I believe. And you can see it's not quite, blooms aren't open yet, and there's a, some kind of critter on that one. Here's the thing you see the most at John's this time of year, and it's the zebra swallowtail butterfly. And it's on a plant I've shown you, I think, recently, Amsonia. Uh, Taber no, Montana, anyway, um, and uh, those are called blue star, those flowers, and the pawpaws, the pawpaw bushes are the things that uh, uh, the caterpillars of the uh, zebra swallowtail have to eat, so maybe we have a picture of a pawpaw in here, I'm not sure. I think this is, uh, let's see, that insect's on a, well, I can't be fast enough, of course. And here's another thing you don't see in my yard or at World Peace Wetland Prairie. It's a woodland flower, and I'm not sure, I think it's not Dutchman's riches, but a closer related species. That's, uh, of course, the swallowtail up close and this I'm not sure uh, at the moment now okay there is a something you got to get down low you see the plants in the background that's the may apple or mandrake and they just have one flower and it's under those leaves so I had to get down low in different angles made it several different plants but and there's a yellow flower I couldn't identify. This flower is a very good one. I shot it from 50 feet away or something. And it's um, one of the classic beauties, but this is, happens to be the only one I could see. And uh, I didn't actually walk out close enough to it. But I've got a, a book. I should have brought that in to show you what it would look like if it were in a little better condition. I think this one's going, you know, it's past its prime bloom, but it's a beauty. Uh, there's a uh, fire pink uh, and some kind of coneflower type of uh, yellow there with it, and uh, that's in the saline family, and there are several saline category uh, things, and they're in the woodlands, but they're also on the prairies in places, and even on roadsides in, in sunlight. And that one I can't name. I, I hope if John would have been here, he might have popped out the name of that thing, but it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, there's just so many. You can see some insects on these, and bees and flower flies using them. But uh, they actually are rare to me because they don't grow on the prairies where I spend most of my time or right around inside Fayetteville. Somebody tells has got all these, of course. And that one, I'm not sure uh, what uh, that flower is either. But uh, you can see the sign. That's the road. That, you know you're close to John's house. Uh, only have another mile to go or something when you get there. But... Uh, it's a long road, a rough, rough road. And there's some zebra swallowtails at John's house on the ground, and they, they like to get on 
Dale Place is, let's say. And that's a Silver Streak Skipper. And those are the category of, and that's one of the larger skippers. And that's, that's a beauty, which you'll see in town, of course. But uh, the endless number of things. There's some old fossil that uh, John saved and, and uh, brought it out to share. And of course, well, I wish I could name all of them, but anyhow, the uh, trip out to John's is exciting. You know, it's it's rough road, long ways, but he does it regularly. So next time I saw Michelle, I would ask you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, get out and enjoy some native wildflowers. <laughs>